a whole are always applying for an extra crew. We are always applying for can we bring this number of people that's above the general requirements, you know? And that just to me is testament to the family environment that's generated by the club. If you look at the vibe, there's just I don't know, I've tried to analyze it personally and go down to the level of the fact that we live in a small town and there's academics and there's rowing. You know, if you're going to do rowing seriously, not really any drinking. And that's what happens is you hang out with people who you row with and then you go and do your studies and some of the people you row with also do studies and you end up making friendships and bonds that are beyond rowing and beyond academics and they kind of you have this branching system that's created. Um, and I think that's very unique if you compare that to a city university. One, two, three, four, I love my jacket and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. He's a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. I think it generates a sort of a community as a club as opposed to a, a club where you pay and then you use the equipment and then you leave. Too much stats. Too much stats. Okay, pick a So training started officially June, July holiday. We had a week holiday and then came back here for two weeks of camp. Um, since then, it's been pretty tough with like three sessions a day during camp and then two sessions a day during term. But it's been long, but it's been good. It's gone quickly. Like the whole process is just flowing by now that we like right here at Road Race. So uh, the girls have come a long way. Like we've had girls that started off as novices pretty much four months ago and are now in our A group. Training on the men's side has been pretty similar to what the women have had. We've had we started our camp in about June, July as well. Obviously we didn't have a few of our guys because we were training for for Poland and for Rotterdam. But uh, we managed to get a decent aid going on camp. Towards the beginning of lectures we we had a boat going again. Um, and then we lost our guys when they went abroad, but so far so good with the training. Three sessions a day, uh, high intensity, uh, medium weeks and hard weeks every now and then, but yeah, good fun. In the hope of knowing what the rowing club's about, I think it's a good club to join. It's a good experience and something great to try. Um, yeah, just give it a shot and see what rowing can do for you. It's very different to any other club you could join at Varsity, I think. Just in terms of, like, we train hard, but it also brings us so close together because we spend so much time with each other and, like, it's very organised and you can really progress and do something with it. The chaos in the club is very, very high, um, but I'm very biased in saying the B crew. Um, I think we carry the Gheers in this club um, quite high, and we've got a lot of big characters um, in our crew, uh, big uh, literally and figuratively. Uh, and yeah, I think we're going to smash boat race.